Hi there, welcome to a short video looking at the essence of indifference curves. This is part of our series of videos on consumer choice theory. So, what is an indifference curve? Well, an indifference curve shows the combinations of two products, could be a good, could be a service, between which a consumer is indifferent. In other words, what that means is that each combination of the two products that lies on a particular indifference curve gives the consumer the same total satisfaction or total utility. We normally draw an indifference curve as convex to the origin, and that's because of the law of diminishing marginal utility or diminishing marginal satisfaction. That law in economics suggests that as we consume extra units of something, the extra or the additional utility falls. Total utility therefore rises but at a diminishing or decreasing rate. So combinations of products on an indifference curve furthest from the origin are assumed to give the consumer greater total utility. So an indifference curve is really a way of expressing combinations of products that give you the same total satisfaction. We normally work in an XY space. Let's consider, for example, a choice the consumer might have between consuming sausages and chicken wings. Here's an indifference curve, I see one. Any combination that lies on the curve, A, B, C, any of those combinations is assumed to leave the consumer indifferent. They lie on the same curve, we're assuming the total utility stays the same. And we've drawn the indifference curve as convex to the origin. Interestingly, we assume that if C and D, that combination, lie on the same curve, although we're consuming the same amount of sausages, from D C to D, although we're uh, increasing our consumption of chicken wings, but it gives no extra total satisfaction. Therefore, the marginal utility of increasing chicken wings from C to D must be zero. And likewise, if we go up the indifference curve, and think about a combination A and a combination E, the consumer is indifferent between those combinations. They give the same total satisfaction. Okay. When an indifference curve is vertical or horizontal, the marginal utility of extra units is zero. Now, crucial point, indifference curves in conventional theory cannot intersect. Indifference curve IC3 is further out from the origin. That gives greater satisfaction than IC1 but IC1 is preferred to IC2. So perhaps a simple rule of thumb is that the consumer is looking to try and reach the furthest possible indifference curve from the origin, assuming that consuming sausages and chicken wings gives you positive satisfaction or utility. There we go, there's a quick introduction to indifference curves. 